Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Star Wars Battlefront. In the last part, we captured Geonosis. So in this part, we'll be fitting off the Separatist invasion of Kamino. So, yeah. Geonosis, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. On Kamino, our eventual victory depends. Defend against the Separatist attack, or our clones will be lost. Right, so the Separatists have launched an attack on the Kamino cloning facility. It's been the cloning facility at all costs, make it easy. Use of our new jet trooper unit. So yeah, in the first um, Republic mission, you didn't have the jet trooper. Now you do, and it's very useful because um, in this mission, it's actually kind of unique. Each side starts with only one command post, and there's um, d d d seven in total on the map. Yeah, I think. So yeah, um, it's kind of unique. You think the Republic would have more control over its own territory rather than just one command post, but. Whatever, yeah, the jet trooper becomes really useful here. And so does the destroyer for the Separatist because it moves the fastest. So just jump out. You spawn before boss if you didn't notice already. So it's really useful for going out and capturing command posts on levels like this where you don't... Where some command posts remain neutral from the start. So I like how they kind of mixed up like some missions. You don't have all the command posts ready just for balance and whatnot. And also it gives you... the Makes helps you make or has you decide and Jet Trooper has six EMP grenades because he doesn't have any um oh crap I'm dead um oh this isn't good wait wait I can take him out okay come on come on he's destroyers are kind of have a lot of trouble aiming at uh enemies that have the high ground on them so bear that fact in mind anyways what was I saying enemy forces have captured a command post. Yeah, they kind of make you have to decide which side is more important because you got the alphas and the beta. I think these are the alphas. I don't remember. They're just called alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, and beta one, beta two, beta three. Anyways, left side, on one side of the map, you got a cluster of three command posts. On this side, you got a cluster of two and then a platform. And in this command post down here, which is where the droids start off at, basically. Oh crap! That was there. Oh, whatever. They didn't really want to stay as a jet trooper. So, yeah, they've got those four command posts. That's not good for us because they take one away. We're losing reinforcements. And also, if you notice, we start off the mission with, like, 20 command posts on them. Not much of a home field advantage, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, we got the high ground on them from this side. So, that's kind of why I took this route. I mean, you got the high ground from the other command posts, too. It's just really annoying trying to capture the ones I took at the beginning because they have the high ground on basically everything. Like, you're gonna have to march up against both command posts. Like, here you can take out, I think they're the base player. I think this is Alpha 1. Yeah, this is Alpha 1. Okay. So yeah, the other three that they have are the betas, so I was just stalling for time with that rolling crap. Trying to get more troops up here. Sometimes the bots are really stupid and they'll just stand there right outside command the command post for who knows what, some sort of invitation. So let's take care of this. Come on. Zero battle droid, okay? So yeah. Anyways, at this point, we've basically don't try to move out because they got the high ground from that edge and I think they may have some crap whatever basically my main strategy after this point once you have control of four command posts just hold this one sometimes they'll move out against the cloning center pay attention to that We've lost a oh crap <laughs> when I look at the map I didn't even see anything on there so um I'm gonna go back this way go. oh come on follow me oh, um. well, I'm gonna go back this way so I don't have to run through a bunch of enemy units so uh, wait, oh wait, 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 I think we're gonna capture them. Maybe I should go over there anyway, just clear out some of those droids. Okay, where is that destroyer? Sometimes they're stupid and they don't target you. They'll just stand around looking for something. Come on, run out of shield, run out of shield. Oh crap, we're losing the command post again. Oh, take this thing out. Oh, screw it, that... Um, Let's go this way. Whatever. I don't know why that wasted more time. 
Thought I was closer to the middle one then. Whatever. Uh, they got it. They've got the command post. Yeah, I think they're gonna capture it before we get in there. Okay, uh, is that an enemy? I can't tell. It's like coming up red. Oh, yeah, that's a droid. Ah, uh, too late. They captured that really quickly, considering how long it took them just to wear it down to nothing. So now, enemy units are gonna spawn there. Luckily, I've got an ally here to be a bit of cannon fodder. That's the main purpose of. You got four basic units commands. Move out, hold your position, which offset each other, and follow me and spread out, I think, whatever. So, yeah, basically, it's a good idea when you're gonna rush an enemy command post to um, tell units to follow you, because they'll oftentimes serve as cannon food, at, or at the very least, some support fire. So, they do help. I mean, they're not exactly the most amazing allies. I mean, a human ally would be a lot help more helpful, but whatever, nothing you can do. Just make sure they don't overrun Alpha 1 now. Just try to clear them out a little bit on this main platform so they don't march right back in and take back the colony center. So, yeah. Um, did they get cleared out over there? Grab that animal. And. Follow me. Should I march right down there? Right away, from there? Whatever, flank them from here. Not a bad idea, yeah. They're gonna be swarming over there, so grenades, or in this case, EMPs, are usually a good idea. Yeah, they're not actually called grenades in this game. You got thermal detonators and then the EMPs. And, oh crap, they're running this place over a bit, so. Stop that. Ugh, shoot him. Okay. Oh crap. Okay, phew! I actually got him out before his shield came back up. That's good. That's good. I don't think I've actually been killed by any of those destroyers yet. Considering that close call I had at the beginning of this mission, I thought I was finished there. I got lucky, so. Whatever. No complaints, really. Yeah, at this point, we've got, uh big edge, about 50, and remember my rule, and things pretty much finished, um, yeah, that rule isn't, like, set in stone, I have beat a few times, like, best been platformed, I was down 34 to 14, I was down, like, 50 once we dropped down to, like, 100 units, but came back, and I was really happy, and there's a few other times that's happened, but, whatever, I mean, for you, the same rules don't really apply because you're actually a human player. You can think in ways computers couldn't. Whatever. So yeah, it more applies to the computers than to you. But for the most part, it still will apply to you. So obviously, are times where you can pull a comeback. Depending on the situation, I mean, if you're down to like one command post and you're down by 50, you're probably skewed rude. But if you actually have good map control, you could come back, whatever. It's really situational. Yeah. Now, about this game, yeah. I love it, love it, love it. I actually prefer this game to the second game, mostly because... I don't know, um... I kind of like the gameplay a little bit better, and I love the maps way more on this. Like, the second one, it felt like I was just running over the map all the time. I would capture a command post, and then my side would immediately lose another. So I would just be running over, uh, occasionally shooting an enemy, but mostly just going after command post the whole time without as much combat. Because they made a lot of levels more open, less choke point -ish. And in a way, that's good. I mean, I don't want every map just to have choke point after choke point. That's boring. And, you know, in this game, they don't have nothing but choke point maps. Yeah, you got basically just the infantry base maps and then vehicle base maps and then and then one that's just a perfect blend of the two, which is the best spin platforms and probably the best level in any of these games. Yeah, the second one I do like the second one I and I will give the second one this, it has a much better campaign. I mean this one, you're just playing out situational missions. I mean it's not really any objective based. I mean, the second one actually has objective based crap. And here, it gives you objectives, but basically, 
winning is just the same as how you would win in skirmish, just taking the command post, so. Just like skirmish mode with a storyline, basically. That's all this game's campaign is, and it's fun, so that's why I'm doing this. Yeah, the second one definitely has a better campaign. And it's up for debate which game has better Galactic Conquest. I mean, this one was more simple, lets you get into it more. And the same one, it was fun, it was really in-depth, I guess you'd say. But it also took a long time to get through, which is one of the drawbacks, so... Yeah, whatever, let's stop comparing them. And they're capturing the cloning facility, but who gives a crap? This thing's pretty much over, so I'm just gonna march out and try to take care of the last few droids. Oh, no, screw it. I'm gonna take this guy out with the luck I've been having against these jerks. Oh, look! Oh, you idiot! He f knocked me off target, then flew in front of my fire, and now I'm probably dead. Gosh, stupid bots. That's the kind of thing. And oh my gosh, I'm not dead! I didn't get the kill, I don't think, but I don't care. That idiot left me for dead. He completely screwed me. I could have killed the thing, and. I'm still alive! That's a pretty good run of luck against those yes, destroyers, even though it was also bad luck in a way. Look how that idiotic jet to react. Sometimes the bots will be complete idiots, you'll be firing and they'll run right in front of your field of fire. So if you get annoyed by that, turn off auto aim, whatever. Er, I mean, not auto aim, what am I saying? Turn off friendly fire, because it does get annoying at times, but whatever. It's not terrible bad, I mean. Sometimes your friendly computers will like run into grenades you threw. Like you'll throw it out against the enemy, and then some of your allies will run in and get blasted by it too, so that's annoying. I mean, there's not exactly the smartest AI, but it's not like it takes away from the fun of the game too much. And also, even though you have friendly fire on, you can't be killed by you cannot be killed by allies. Though some points they're um Grenades, while not damaging you, still have knockback on you in most situations. Which, on some maps, can actually kill you by knocking you off the platform. So, that's annoying. Whatever, try to avoid that. So, anyways, we stop the Separatists from uh, capturing Kashyyyk. Or, what? Kamino! Gosh, that was... What? Um, yeah, I'm giving away the last level. Whatever. We got the Kamino storyboards. Hooray. Okay. Let's save this, and so that's it for Camino. In the next part, we've got them. We're attacking them on Rinvar. See you guys then. Late tour. See ya.